don't leave the series yet. Hello friends and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington and today we're going to be playing Bowser's Inside Story. Now, we don't have these newfangled fancy schmancy capture cards. So we're going to be playing this game the old-fashioned way by putting a camera up to the 3DS. Don't leave the series yet. While the remake is not available in America just yet, it is available in Japan and it got kind of mixed reviews. Bowser's Inside Story is one of the greatest games ever made, so I thought, hey, you know what? I don't have these fancy schmancy new remakes or anything, so in celebration, I'm just gonna play the original. This is gonna be a very important thing for me and I'll go into more detail later. We've already taken a long enough time to start this up. Oh, right. One of the free backgrounds is Sonic Boom. So even though I am playing this on a beautiful red 3DS, because sometimes life is nice to me, uh, this is not the 3DS version. This is the original Bowser's Inside Story. I'm going to put down my little... I'm recording this on the washing machine, which is next to the dryer, which you have seen in some videos. And you will be able to see my hands. I'm going to swap between the top screen and the bottom screen during different play. Here is my stylus. It is a master sword. My sister gave it to me. It is awesome and I love it very much. So, I'd say it is time for us to begin the game. Oh shoot, the camera battery is almost dead. All right, we will resume this later. Don't leave the series yet. So it's later now. Uh, it's been a few days since I've been able to record this. So I have now moved my position. See, now we're in night mode. So if I do that, you can actually see the screen a whole lot easier. Ah, this is one of the games that years ago I always really wanted to do if I ever, ever got a Let's Play channel. And that's just one of the reasons why this is so meaningful to me. Um, I have more reasons why uh, later that I'll, I'll discuss. But this is a very sentimental game to me. Here we go! Nintendo! <laughs> oh my gosh! So first off, the water, when you tap it on here, it ripples. I always love to try and see if I could make it go all the way up to the tops of this the top of the screen. I don't think I was ever able to. But I love the little rippling effect. You can just you can see it here. <laughs> and the reflection of Peach's castle is Bowser's on the water. It's so cool. This game has so much polish and the aesthetic of all of it is just so wonderful. 2009 Nintendo. Oops. Ooh. Nintendo. Yay! The alternate version of the intro screen. Ooh, this is a good way for me to show you. The letters pop out of the water like Shamu. They have little splashes. So I got this game, I believe, in 2010. Not long after I had gotten my 3DS as a... Uh, my first DS, excuse me, uh, my DS Lite as a gift from my grandmother, who unfortunately... Uh, my grandmother on my mother's side, who has passed away. But on my first game system... This was not one of the first games that I had gotten with it. The first two games that I had gotten was Mystery Dungeon and Phantom Hourglass, because she bought those for me. Um, and she surprised me with them, which was so nice. And um, this, I think, was my third game. I don't remember exactly. I, I'm pretty sure this was my third game. And I went over to... Because uh, 
for those of you who don't know, I have a fear of living things essentially being inside another living thing, essentially. Uh, kind of a weird fear, I had talked about it before in an older episode of whatever, but um, essentially that was my fear, and my mother had gone on a sort of a kick, I guess, where she really wanted me to help me get over my fear, and it was around this time, actually, and when I found out about this game, I had told a friend of mine, um, and he actually thought the game sounded awesome, and he got the game, and then he brought it over to my house and then showed me, and I was like, wow, this game is actually really fun and not as scary as I thought it was going to be. And then we went over, my, uh, my mom had brought me all the way over to Toys R Us, and we went into the electronics section, and I bought the game brand new with a Toys R Us gift card that I had. And we went over there, we bought the game, and I had played it, I waited for my sister to come home, and then I had played it the first night. Then things didn't work out, and then I had to restart the game, because I think I forgot to save. Uh, no, I wasn't able to save after the first save block, and then I had to replay it the next day, but, uh, and this was so wonderful, because this is the, this is basically the only exception to my fear, this game, because it was carefully engineered in a way where all the colors and all the shapes and the, the way that the whole game is made, Nintendo, and Alpha Dream, Ah, uh, wonderful company. They make the Mario and Luigi series. I'm sorry this intro is so long, but this is this is a very meaningful let's play for me to do, especially to just do it on my channel. Ah. Uh. So, this game is one of the only exceptions to my fear that I not only am not afraid of it, but I love it to death so much. I love every aspect of it. I love the whole look. I love all of the music of this game. It's magnificent, it's wonderful, and it's basically a perfect game. As, as perfect of a game as you could make. <sighs> Alright. I, uh, I think I've introduced this enough. Start. <sighs> 89 hours. Oh, wow. I thought I played the game even longer than that. So yes, here's here's my original profile with all of the original stats and everything. Uh, level 49, level 49, level 41. I still need to reach the highest rank for Bowser, I believe. And then still beat Bowser X. I never got a chance to do that. So if we ever do the challenge node and other things like that, we're going to do it in this, in my original profile. Uh, so that's just how things shall go. Yep, the final battle is at hand. <laughs> Oh, I was level grinding in Bubble Lake. I played this like two years ago, uh, so I I had I had played it. So, I haven't played it. It's not like I haven't played this since 2010. Uh, played it a little bit, but this second profile here, I have. Occasionally, I would like start a new profile just to see like the intro again because it was so cool, and then I um just to like play through the tutorial because I love the tutorial of, uh, the fight. So I think I had played it and deleted it. I did that, like, twice. When I wanted to just kind of feel like what the game was like, um, doing it again. And for a short time, my sister had made a, a profile on the second profile here. Uh, and then she played up to the pump works, I believe, and then, uh, she didn't want to play it anymore, and then I was like, hey, can I delete it? Because secretly I had wanted to use this profile for my Let's Play if I ever did it. And one of the first Let's Plays I ever did was I held up a camcorder on a tripod, and I just played through a little bit of this game, which technically was the first Let's Play I ever did. That or Diamond Hollow, when I also did that. I don't remember which came first. I believe it was the Bowser's Inside Story. But uh, around this point was when I had been thinking of making a Let's Play channel. 2010, almost 10 years... Uh, 2010... Yeah, almost ten years ago. Nine years ago, technically. But, since it's the tenth anniversary of Bowser's Inside Story, I'll say it's about ten years I've been wanting to do this. And now, finally, the second profile will have its purpose. Wow. We're doing this! <laughs> We're doing this!
Wow. Oh, Toad Town. The birds fly. We'll get those blocks eventually. I'm running around you. You're running around me. Oh, bottom screen. Oh, I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. I'm going to have to swap back and forth. Darn. Oh, well, I'll do my best. Hopefully I won't miss too many things on the bottom screen. Mom, I'm home. Sorry for anyone who may be annoyed with my toad voice. I love the I love all of the tiny tiny details of this game. All of the cups are different colors and all the I mean all the plates are different colors. There's blue, pink, yellow and then green. Doesn't quite show up as well on here because of the low quality recording. Uh, in fact, the whole look of this game, first off it's a little bit stretched because I'm playing this on a 3DS. So, the way that the Nintendo 3DS emulates Nintendo DS games just kind of stretches it out a little bit, so it's a little weird. Um, so it does not look quite as crisp as it would be, uh, but if you get a chance to ever play the original game, I would recommend it. Try and find it. Usually they sell a copy of it at GameStop. You'd be able to buy it, uh, or you can buy the remake, though it's not as good or as charming as this. It's just kind of very basic. It loses so much of the charm, or from, from what I've seen of like the snippets here and there, it's grander, but it it doesn't it just doesn't feel the same. It doesn't have the same sort of love to it. Ah. <laughs> Mom, I'm home. There we are. Well, hi there, sweetie. Home early today, huh? Look at the picture we have of our Lord and Savior, Princess Peach. Always here, always watching. You know, that picture has, uh, the eyes are just little cameras. Anyway, how was your day? Miss Angletoad just wouldn't stop talking. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, you're making stew. So I snuck out and came home. Aren't you proud of me? You naughty little scamp. Not so for you. You'll never grow up into a fine toad with such bad behavior. Fine, Mom. Whatever. So is dinner ready yet? Come back. One year. Yes, dear, it is. Okay. But call your dad before we eat. Can you guys see this well? I hope it I hope it's coming through. Can you see the before? Now you can see the before. Okay. Dad! Dinner's ready. Dad? Yeah! What is it, dear? You're not a deer. You're a toad. It's dead! He's... Do 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 No honey! We have no honey in this house! You destroyed the potted plant! Now how will we breathe? The blorbs! Mushroom Kingdoms, uh, Mushroom Kingdom marred by mysterious malady, the Blorbs. Hey, how's it going? Do I, do I look tough? Do I look tough? Yeah. Ah! 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 Hey, how's it going? I'm just sitting here. You doing all right? I'm doing all right. It comes without warning. First you balloon to blimp size, then the rolling. You roll away. Oh, the horror of the blorbs. This game is funny, and I love it, and I love it, and I love it. As of press time, the cause and cure are unknown. Day by day, the number of blorb toes, toads swell. Get it? Because they're becoming balloons and swollen. Hey, 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 how's it going? Hey, how you doing? Hey, 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 how's it going? Hi. Seeing how grave the situation is, 
Princess Peach convenes an emergency meeting at her castle. Oh, there's her castle. There's the meeting. Oh, how absolutely wretched. Such a thing has never happened in the history of the kingdom. Soon the entire Mushroom Kingdom will get the blorbs. We gotta find the cause and get this place back to normal. Yeah, obviously. Oh, we're never, we've never dealt with something like this. I have absolutely no idea what to do. I suggest we panic. Pull yourself together, man. Slap. We have to do something. My son, he's also got, he's also got the blorbs. <laughs> Pull yourself together, man. Slap. Princess, we still await. Where do, you, where do you await? Don't you see this wonderful little projector screen we have? Where is the projector, though? Is it on the ceiling? Huh. I thought this presentation told you everything you need to know, but I guess I forgot to tell you that we also sent word to the star sprites for help. Oh, well, no response. Yep, no response. Whoopsies. Said that a bit too early. Pardon me. Oh, glorious, I dare say our star sprite has arrived. Sorry I'm late. This castle's huge. It's huge. Princess, this thing is... What? Ah, thank you for calling me a thing. Nice to meet you. I'm Starlo. Peach sent word of trouble in the Mushroom Kingdom. So as a representative of the Star Sprites, here I am. Hello, Yellow! Mercy! Such pep! Such verve! What's a verve? Oh well, such unswerving confidence. So you'll be able to simply cure the blobs then, correct? Oh, um, well, no. Huh. This is even beyond the power of a star sprite. Well, I did some research on similar afflictions. You know, balloonitis, round, uh, round, rounditis, uh, what are other things that end in itis? Ah, well, I did research, uh, but the Blorbs is in a class of its own. It seems to be incurable. It's so sad, my star is even blinking darker, because I am sad. I'm also related to Pac-Man. Those are what the rest of the star sprites look like. I'm like the baby Pac from the old Pac-Man TV show. That's me, except grown up. If we could just find a cause, we'd have a place to start. Oh, that's a girl toad. Uh, the medical staff did what we could to ease the swelling. But as far as we can tell, we can't reverse the effects. You dogs gotta do something! You gotta do something! Rudy, you gotta draw something! Come on, you gotta draw something! This is a national emergency! Thanks for the news flash. Obviously we want to help. Psh, who is this? Who, who's, who is that over there? Who, who, who is that? Dr. Toadley's intern. Dr. Toadley? He's a really famous doctor. He knows everything. Everything except the cure for the blorbs, I guess. He couldn't make it to today's meeting, so his intern is here. Huh. Well, I have many patients. Oh, wait, excuse me. Wrong voice. Well, I have many patients, so you'll have to excuse me. Away I walk. That will actually end up saving her in the end. Who knew? Blast! Doctors are stumped. 
the star sprite is helpless. To whom might we turn? All hope is lost. Look, I'm really sorry, okay? There are some things that even a star sprite can't do. You know, I, the almighty star sprite. I guess we just give up, huh? Yep, we're all doomed. Huh, how insolent. How dare you want to give up? All hope is not lost. Why would you say such a thing? Arr. Calm down. Oh, what voice should I give the doctor? Oh, wait, that's not Doctor Totally, that's somebody else. Um, yeah, what's wrong with you, Toadsworth? There is something we can count on by Boogity. Oh, quite right! Hope endures! So, um, what's up? They're not here yet. The bros. Da da da. Hee hee. It's -a me, Mario. Mario, hey, hey, Mario, hey, put a hey, Mario. Hurry, hurry. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> He's getting his pants on. Poor Luigi. And he has striped socks. <laughs> he just ducks behind and gets the shoe. Uh, the Bowser's Inside Story remake I saw on Twitter. They censored his socks. I don't know why they don't want to show Luigi's striped socks. They just stopped you from seeing them. They were so cool. That's a meeting. Big meeting. You gotta hurry, please. Oh, no, I'm gonna take my time. This is a Handington Let's Play. We never started the game very quickly. Everyone's waiting, Mario, in the conference hall. Oh, Luigi came too. Super. Thank you. I'm so glad I'm loved. I'm so glad I'm loved. I don't know what voice I should give to Luigi as well. Maybe I should just give them the same voice. I mean, they're Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, so I'll give them a Mario voice. I'm not very good at voices if you didn't if you couldn't tell. Look, the conference hall is in the back. Please hurry! Oh, but before you do, do you need an action icon refresher? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay then, keep your peepers on the lower right of the screen. Peeper peeper. Hee <laughs> hee. Why would I want to miss out on this? Oh, the tutorial music. If you've ever heard in my other uh, videos, if you've heard this music before, this is the game that it comes from. I'm so glad I'm actually doing this and I'm not chickening out again. Those things re are action icons. They represent the actions that you guys can perform. The ones you see right now show Luigi and yours jumps. But the thing is, those icons, and Mario, that's you, the one who I'm talking to, gets near stuff. Those icons change. Now it's a little munchy, whatever you call those. They're Mario enemy. Or Homestar Runner. Oh my gosh, I just realized he, he kind of looks like Homestar Runner. Like, say Mario approaches someone he wants to talk to. Well, the icon changes to this. Then you press A to get talking. Simple, right? I don't know what you're talking about, Toad. I can't see anything. Uh-oh. Hopefully they never know that I can see through the Matrix. 